something. I don't want to throw you under the bus here about being a little bit lazy, but I want to talk about tool management, but not in the sense of running it on the machine. I'm talking about building tools in the software and putting it through to the machine because some machines have really good graphics, some machines don't. So you have to be able to trust that what you send from your edge cam system is going to be right. So talk me through building tools and I really don't want to throw you in the bus, I'm so sorry. Before we had multi-pallet machine, we would not be concentrating on building the tools with proper graphics on every single job, okay? Because you just don't need it. If you're cutting free access part, we would, you know, we all would just eyeball it if the float length is enough, right? You've done it, this yes? This resonates with me it, yeah? so much. Yeah. Um, so we would normally just sometimes eyeball it. Uh, when the part's getting more complicated, you're building up the tools, but when you start running a high-tech equipment, like for example, that machine there, you want to make sure that the simulation is exactly right, okay? You want to be able to post a program on the machine and trust, okay? We're cutting holes between the jaw vices, okay? We're literally missing the jaws of the vices by half a mil on some of the parts, okay? I want to sleep nice at night when that machine is cutting, okay? So I spent fair bits of time of downloading all the models, building them up properly, and then we're taking the full um, the length gauge off the machine, we're putting it to the cam system, and we post the programs out. That gives us that ability to trust what is going to come out without any collisions. 